and bug I will I will record and uh, pop it onto uh, unfiltered. Perfect. So, uh, you know, in the, actually, let's just like open up a handbook page. I think there's one on here. Let's look at this one. Look at this. Get the URL correct here. Okay. So, uh, you know how <clears throat> each of these titles becomes a link? Mm -hmm. And so, like, this is COVID-19 event disclaimer. Yeah. And the URL becomes COVID-19 event disclaimer. But if you were going to change this to, like, coronavirus event disclaimer, mm. you change the copy on the page, but all of a sudden, anything that links to it is now broken. Does that make sense? Okay, yep. So it's it's um other so there's kind of two things. One is like other pages that link to your page, if you change the title, you break all those links. Okay. Or like if you created a link on your page and you linked directly to a section, which you totally should, because that's better than some of these pages are pretty long, right? Yeah. But if if then that page changes their text they broke your link. Oh, okay, yeah. So I don't know if you've ever encountered this. I run into it all the time. It's a huge pain point. And thankfully, they're writing a script to just such that when you change the header, it'll tell you like, oh, you broke these people's links. Like maybe while you're making this MR, you can go and like just update those links as well. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what they're trying to do. But in order to do that automation, there's like a there's a bajillion broken links that they kind of want to have fixed up. So the way this works is so there's an anchor, you know, npm, uh, you know, found here uh, on the source file, right? So um, so this looks like so the way the way I've done it is like this. So I go to this page, so this the second part one here, this is the page. And if it's under like sites handbook source, then everything mm -hmm. after source is like the actual URL, right? So like handbook marketing events. Yeah. And so if we go to if we go to edit it went the to page. Like the IDE and like I just was like unclear which one was the new link and old link. And so I was like, yeah. I'll just ask you to walk me through it. Yeah, the second one, the source file, that's mm -hmm. the page that you are editing. So in this okay. case, the source file is the events page. Mm -hmm. And then the first part of it, the anchor is like, that's what's, that's what's broken. So in this case, it's one that's like linking to this on this page. And so in the side of the web IDE, if I just search for that, anchor so here it is this is the uh offending link mm -hmm. so it's picking this up where it says you know uh in fact this one looks even like really weird because it's like That's got so other old. other stuff in there but anyway it says see npm steps to set up an event epic now here is the annoying difficult part right yeah, that's, like, when, that's when I got stuck. I was like, I have no idea what to do now. Yeah, so like the idea is, in theory, this is the designated NPM will begin backend execution. So maybe this is like ping Jackie or someone on her team to find out like where the, these instructions live or find them yourself. You so know, I basically have to go figure out where they live now and then change the link. Right. That's why... I don't know. Okay, that's the know. part that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. This is like a great use of your time in particular. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's kind of. I, I did several of them on the PMM page. I fixed the PMM page, and it um, it was it was annoying and time consuming. <laughs> so. I can't wait. Okay. So <laughs> video exists Sorry. now. Maybe Sorry. we can divide and conquer now that like it's clear what to do. Um, I'll go through and like do a couple that are maybe like low hanging fruit and then 
figure out next steps. Yeah, and, and honestly, so for example, I just went to the page and here there's one that says like NPM steps to set up an Epic. And honestly, this one looks kind of easy to fix, steps to set up an Epic. It looks like what accidentally got copied was the, uh, the this instead of this. Mm -hmm. And so here, this is the actual anchor. It's, it's like usually all lowercase with like dashes in the middle. And so the way to fix this is uh, events, anchor, and then like that. And so now that is linking to the correct place. So I'll, actually, I'll start this MR. Uh, I'll be like update corp and events handbook anchor links. So yeah, so that's like, it's basically like, look at all the broken links, try to figure out where it's supposed to go and or tag someone else to ask that mm -hmm. and then fixing it. And then ideally what will happen in the future is if you create one of these links and it, it like doesn't go anywhere or if you update a title and you happen to break other people's inbound links, the CI will tell you which would be amazing. And then everything in the handbook. Where, but where, name. at what stage would that tell me it's broken? So will, this, the, will the build fail? In an ideal world, in my opinion, yes. Now we used to have this checker that checked for 404s. Like if you're linking right. like to a 404 and it, um, there's a lot of reasons why it was like, it used to fail the build but then people would merge anyway and then break master. I don't know if you remember that used to happen all the time. Yeah. And I have no idea how did they force the merge. It doesn't even make sense in my head, but um, yeah, in an ideal world, we turn this thing on and if your MR breaks an internal, this is just an internal link, the handbook linking to itself. If you do something to the handbook and you break that, it should fail the build in my opinion. You should not be allowed to merge until you rectify it. Right. Yeah, so mm -mm. Uh, I'll do it this way so that I'll say it closes this and I'll sign it to you. Uh, do it this way, closes, boom. Is that, is that helpful? I think the whole thing kind of makes sense to you now, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. I get it now. It's just uh, annoying. <laughs> I would say completely reasonable to you know, swarm on this, loop in other people, tag other people, say like, hey, you know, can you go down the list and I'll just check that one off that. So here's the MR and the MR should now be uh, tied into the, should show up under like related MRs. So I kind of started one for you. Okay, thank you. That makes sense, yeah. Thanks cool. for walking me through it. Yeah, you're totally welcome. Uh, rock on with commit and all of the other, wonderful things that you're doing and uh thank you you as well <laughs> hey cheers with the, Bye. the star wars star trek uh, i can't do it yeah yeah right on bye <laughs>